Pas du tout, c'est un mensonge, mais il faut quand même corriger quelque chose. Le problème, ce n'est pas la biotechnologie en tant que telle comme science, mais ce sont les applications de la biotechnologie. Pour dire le slogan « nous avons besoin des OGM pour nourrir le monde », c'est à chiffon, parce que l'humanité a suffisamment à manger sur la planète. Si les gens ont faim, c'est dû essentiellement à deux choses. Soit quelqu'un a confisqué votre nourriture, soit la nourriture a été mal répartie. C'est ça qui est la vérité. Donc, nous n'avons pas besoin des organismes génétiquement modifiés pour nourrir le monde. C'est un slogan très simpliste, très simpliste qui ne tient pas du tout compte de la vie biologique, ni de la terre, ni des plantes, de, de la croissance des plantes naturelles, et qui donne l'illusion que la technologie peut tout régler. Alors c'est une, une piste complètement fausse. Actually, GMOs are controlled by the corporations and we produce our own food. So GMOs will not feed the world. We, the farmers' production can feed the world and it is already feeding the world. The first GMO food crop that has been introduced in Bangladesh is BT aburjain or the BT brinjal they call it. And it has been actually taken and imposed on the farmers. Farmers did not come to ask for the seeds. Those farmers which were, who were given in the first round failed. Second round, cultivation was not good. They are asking for compensation. They are angry. The farmers are angry. Those who are saying that, you know, it is successful and farmers are happy, it is only two or three farmers that they are taking them, intensively monitoring and showing success. And that success we don't believe because we have monitored many beauty brinjal fields and we saw that the, um, you know, it was not successful. And in fact, they are claiming that BT brinjal would not need any pesticide for because of food, fruit and should borer pest. But they are actually using many different pest, pesticide, fungicide, insecticide for the leaves and other uh, pest attack. So BT brinjal is not a safe food for us also. You know, our traditional varieties have been cultivated without pesticides. It was only the hybrids that needed pesticide as a monocrop. So that's a, that's a total lie. I would say that BT brinjal has failed. We need the slogan to feed the world we hear so often even in Australia. Um, there's no evidence, or the evidence is that we don't necessarily need this technology to feed the world. There's so much food wastage and, you know, you take an example in Australia, even this year, we're overproducing, um, you know, wheat and the price has gone down. So, no, we can grow enough crops in a conventional or, or an organic or a natural type system, biological system, to, to achieve that in my view. My goodness, anybody ever said that? That is insane. GMOs destroy biodiversity and the world can only be fed by having a wide variety of food crops.